Ah, love. The four-letter word with the power to both create and ruin lives. The power to inspire the finest poetry mankind has ever written, and the power to make us forget that hearts don't actually look like that. Like, not even close. Expressions of love would be a lot less romantic if Valentine's Day card said, I heart you, instead of the version we all know and, well, love. But where did the symbol come from, and why does this equal love? Well, first, it's important to realize that the heart wasn't always the center of our emotions. Many cultures throughout history considered the bowels to be the seat of emotions. Imagine that card. It wasn't until the mid-13th century that we see the first use of the heart as a symbol of love, shown in the Roman de la Poix. But even then, the heart used in the picture resembles an actual human heart, not the one we use now. In fact, we have to fast forward almost 100 years before we can start to see the heart take its shape, although the indent is very small and it's upside down. But as more artists began to draw the symbol, the indent grew larger, as did the idea that the point should be faced downward. The heart's now familiar shape was solidified in the late 15th century when it was included as a suit on playing cards. So, we know when the human heart became synonymous with love, and we know how the symbolic heart shape developed over a couple centuries, so that leaves us with the final question. Why did the shape change from the anatomical heart to the symbolic heart? And the answer is, we don't really know. There's been some speculation that the shape is based on the sylphium plant, which was an ancient contraceptive. But again, we really don't know for sure. What we do know is that the heart symbol is here to stay. So scribble it on a piece of paper and give it to someone special. It's better than giving them a picture of your bowels. <laughs>